Hello and welcome to a new quick tip video from Spotfire. Have you ever needed to recreate a large list of document properties from one Spotfire application to another? Or maybe you wanted to bulk rename a list of document properties to standardize them. Uh, or even uh, if you wanted to export an existing list of document properties from Spotfire to a CSV file. In today's video, I will use Iron Python to show uh, these three th scenarios. So let's take a look at the uh, dashboard that we have in Spotfire. So let's start by looking at uh, exporting an existing list of document properties. So we have this dashboard with this list of uh, document properties. I have created the document property for every uh, data type that we have uh, in Spotfire. And let's try to uh, export this list by using an export code. So what this code does basically it loops through uh, it first it firstly uh, creates a csv file and then loops through every document property and writes the document property name the type uh, and the value to that csv file so let's run this script and close this and open the file so here's the file and then we can see that we have a list of all the uh, exported document properties. Now let's try to import this list of document properties to Spotfire. I will delete the existing document properties and then try to import them uh, from the CSV file that I have uh, created. So we can go to our scripts and then, then we can uh, use the import secrets and what the import code does is basically loops through the rows of the csv file and figures out the data type and then write every uh, one of these rows uh, to a new document property so let's run the script and click ok click ok and then come back to the uh, document property so we can see that we have uh, imported the list of document properties to Spotfire successfully. Uh, let's try also to batch rename these document properties. So let's uh, assume that we wanted to add the word prop in front of each document property. So uh, we basically loop through all the existing document properties and then uh, create uh, uh, the new name for every document property, which is basically prop and the document property name and then assign this value to the document property name. So let's run the script and then, then go check it out. And you need to uh, click OK, exit, and then come back to the same dialog to see the change. So we can see that we have now the, the, the word uh, prop in front of each document property. OK, so that was it for today. I hope you found the video uh, helpful. Stay tuned for the future quick tips. Thank you. Bye bye.